Hi, my name is Bero once again and today I have another new exciting tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to install uh, the Twixter version 5 into your Adobe CC, Adobe CC 2014, 2015, 2016 and 2100. <laughs> I know that one is there. <laughs> okay, first and foremost you must have uh, the, uh, the Twixter. So, you must have it. Wow, what's wrong with my computer? <laughs> okay. Okay. A little bit slow. So. So this is the version I'm going to install. And uh, by default, it will not install in Adobe CC. Uh, it will only install in Adobe CS5, 5.5, uh, 5 .5, uh, CS6. So we are going to do this manually such that you can use it with the Adobe CC 2014, 2015, and 2016. Okay. Now, uh, probably my audio is not sounding great because uh, I'm, uh, I'm uh, recording it directly into my uh, PC, but um, I'll, at the time I'm going to work upon that and give you really nice, good quality audio. And maybe you guys will even see my face. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, as you can see here, it tells I'm going to install this thing in Adobe CS6, CS5.5, CS5, CS4, CS3, and you have Adobe CC and it's not here. But don't worry, this is the trick. So you click next, whatever. And um, wow, there's also this. Okay, this means I need to act to. Yeah, so these are my codes. Nothing to do. There are files already patched. Okay. This thing is taking too long to. Hmm. It's really taking too, too, too long. Ha! And here we are. Now, as uh, it has already finished now installing, so mainly these are the things you want. So you can either copy this directly from here, just right click and uh, copy it now. This one, you may wonder how does it come? Well, as soon as it finish, finishes installing, it opens this folder directly. So you can either copy this from here or uh, go to my PC. Um, navigate to where it has installed which Adobe we look for Adobe remember it installed in these versions CS5 CS5.5 and CS6 so if we come to CS5 we go to the plugins here wow it's not here so uh, so we go to the next one Okay, come here, the encore. Wow, and it is here. So, yeah, and you see this, this this folder is exactly the same as this one. This is the one it displays as soon as it finishes to install. So, what I'll do, what you'll do is uh, just copy the whole folder here. 
and uh, look for which look for which which version of adobe you want to install it in so now what you have to know this one will work with all the adobe all the adobe 2017 2015.3 now today my test i'm going to use 2015.3 so you come to to this this version you look for this folder plugins then you come to navigate to this folder then you paste it here now luckily we have already pasted mine so i don't need to paste it the second time so let us get straight to the to the software so you close it and open your premiere processy now me mine it's already open so now when you come here to 2015 version 3 and you open your video effect you come you scroll down and boom <laughs> you have it it is here you see it it is here vision plugin so when you open it's here twixter so you have all the four vector twixter twixter pro twixter pro vector blah 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 so for my case i'm interested in the slow motion and i'm going to apply the twixter and see whether it really works well i can see the red lines are already there now what i need to do is let me test it by um, slowing down the motion Okay, let me slow down the speed from here. Let me. That's a hundred comes in a hundred. Let me give it something like twenty-five, and I see what will happen. Wow! Oh. And now the motion is slow. <laughs> wow. Um. Let me hope you guys have found this tutorial useful. I wanted to try this uh, trick with uh, Adobe 2016, 2017 and come and give me back a feedback and tell us how it happens, how it has happened, whether it has worked or not, or if there is any other thing you want me to improve on it. Wow. Leave it in the comment section below. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. See you next time for the another for another tutorial. Bye-bye. My name still remains Barrow from Barrow's.